Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zena Outdoors. Today I am going to do another video on a modification for my pit boss. So y'all really enjoyed the Smoke Like a Boss heat deflector mod and I've loved it so far. They've actually come out with another modification. I think it's called the Flame Diffuser mod or something like that. They have a new version which is what I bought. It's about $41 and I think you get free shipping. So. A little expensive, but if it works, that'd be great because I've noticed I've got some hot spots. I think it's on the front right side, which if you know where they're at, it's not too bad. But if you've got a full smoker or for full grill and you're having issues with the temperature and, and burning some things, not cooking some, then this is probably a good modification for you. It's supposed to even out your heat across your entire smoker. So right now I've got the smoker. It's starting to heat up and I bought about... Two loaves of bread. Yeah, I just got some cheap white bread there. I'm gonna do the the toast test uh, a before and an after. So I'm gonna do it now. I need to clean the grill, so I'm gonna do the toast test for the before, and then I'm gonna clean the grill, put the heat or put the flame diffuser in there, and then start it back up, and then we will do another toast test and just kind of see what the differences are. See if it really works. One thing that I know some people say is is you should actually do a biscuit test because it's more reliable of how the whole biscuit cooks rather than just the heat from the grates. I don't have biscuits with me and they're a little more expensive so I didn't want to go that route. But if you want to test that out, you can do that as well. So while this heats up, I will get the bread ready and we will turn you back on then. All right, so for this test, I've got the smoker up to 300. I do have my cap pretty much all the way open and we are going to top. Make sure your sear plate is closed and I'm going to basically start putting the bread from left to right, back to front and then when I flip it so I can see it, I'll do the same process so that I can see, uh, we'll get about an even cooking time on each side. So we'll close that up for about five minutes and we'll see what it looks like. Alright, so it's been about five minutes. I'm going to shut off the heat here, open it up. We will start flipping. So, as you can see, uh, right over that flame pot is very, very hot. And then towards that back right, it's pretty high. Front right's not too bad. And you know, pretty much the whole left side, you know, didn't really have much happen to it. So, uh, I'm going to let it cool down. I am going to install the flame diffuser, and then we will try this again. All right, so we're back. Um, I did a little cleaning. Still kind of a little rusty in there. You can see my uh, other modification right here. If you want to watch the video on that, I will put a link up in uh, the corner here, and I'll put it in the description as well. But... Basically, the fire uh, flame diffuser mod will go right over there, up over the uh, fire pot. I'm going to set you down. So this here is the flame diffuser. It's open on kind of all sides, so you can kind of put it either this way or this way, whichever you like. Uh, maybe you do a toast test and you see if one way works better than the other, but we'll go ahead and install this. So I'm not sure if I'm supposed to keep this in here. Instructions didn't say much on it, so I'm going to leave it in there. I don't think it hurts. So the, the pictures don't show that being in there, but I think it helps distribute heat a little bit better too, so I'm going to keep it. And then we will uh, put that guy over there, and that should really help uh, prevent that hot spot that I had in the middle. And we will now put the cover back on and I will fire it up and get it started and we'll do a toast test and see how it does. Alright, we're up to 300. And we'll let it do that for five minutes. So it looks like it did a little bit better. I mean, I still have a a little bit of a hot spot here in the middle, but it definitely, you know, it's got hot over here, whereas it didn't before. 
it's a little more spread out over here. So, I mean, it still seems to get hot there in the middle, but it definitely, you know, spreads out the heat a little bit. I may try and rotate uh, the diffuser 90 degrees and see if that does anything. So all in all, can't really complain with the purchase. I think it works pretty well. I think it should help uh, spread out the heat quite a bit. I mean, the toast test, it definitely spread it out more than it was. I was actually hoping for maybe a little bit more of uh, the heat to be spread out because the left side's still all the way left middle. doesn't really seem to get really too toasty, but at least I got a good idea of where the heat's coming, which as long as you've got that sear plate on this thing, I mean, you're going to have a, a heat source right there in a hot spot in the middle. But I think this will definitely help prevent some of that. And I may try and rotate the diffuser about 90 degrees and see if that'll help spread it out a little bit more. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's a good $40 purchase. If you're interested in that or the heat deflector mod, I'll put a link in my description below to his website. Pretty cool website. He's got a couple other modifications there. So if you're interested in it, check it out. Uh, one thing I am going to do is once I pull this toast off, I'm going to crank this up to 500 or so and kind of do a little bit of a burn off because I think there's some oils and things on that plate and the diffuser that I want to make sure uh, I don't have going to my food. So I'm going to do that real quick, but I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thanks.